The latest version of Bay Rose contains some very useful new features as well as enhancements to the existing feature set. This video is designed for current Bay Rose users to help you get up to speed with the changes in this version. One of the first changes you will notice when launching the upgraded version of Bay Rose is that you will need to log in with your customer number and password to open the program. If you do not have a Bay Photo customer number, click on Get an Account and fill out the form provided. You will receive a new customer number right away, which you can use with the password that you set up to log in. If you are already a customer but don't remember your customer number or password, click on the Manage Account button and you'll be taken to a web page with options to help you retrieve the missing information. After you log in successfully, the Start screen will become visible. The Start screen offers links to more information about the products on our website. You can also click on a product and you will be taken directly to that product to begin ordering it in Bay Rose. This makes navigating to products in Bay Rose faster and easier than before. You can return to the start screen at any time by clicking on the start button at the top of the screen. Once you've chosen a product to order from the start screen, or by clicking create order at the top of the screen, you'll notice that there is a new layout to the Bay Rose ordering panes. The three different windows for layout, products, and options have been combined into a single window. The Catalogs menu, which used to be in the lower left corner, has been moved to the upper left, above the Products palette, making it much more accessible. Please note that only items from the same catalog can be combined into a single order. By default, the Products palette, where you choose the product size, is on the left side, with the Options palette on the right. In the center is the Layout area where you add your photos to the selected product, and below that is the Image Browser Film Strip. If you want to change the arrangement of the interface, just click on the small arrow buttons on the Options and Image Browser palettes. As with previous versions of the program, you can change the width of the side panels by dragging on the small Resize button in the lower left or right just below the Layout area. Clicking and dragging on the top edge of the film strip allows you to resize that as well. In the Image Browser Film Strip, you can load multiple folders of photos. Click the small disclosure triangle by the folder name to hide or show a folder, and click the X to remove it from the film strip. Another great new feature in Bay Rose is the ability to save favorites of products with specific options that you have chosen. This can really help streamline your ordering workflow, especially if you have specific product types that you frequently order with the same set of options. To save a new favorite, simply create the product and set the options as desired. Then click the Favorites button below the Products palette. If you want to create a new group for the favorites in a specific product catalog, click the Plus button next to the Favorites tab at the top of the Products palette and enter a name for the new group. Then click the Add Favorites button. Type a name for the favorite and press Enter to save the product configuration as a favorite in the group that you've created. The favorites you save are specific to each product catalog and will show up as a separate product tab in the products palette. To view your favorites, click the favorites button. To return to the regular product choices for that catalog, just click the favorites button again. The My Packages feature has been greatly improved and redesigned as packages and clusters, making it much easier for you to create your own print packages, wall clusters, and split image mosaics. If you created any packages using the My Packages feature from earlier versions of Bay Rose, they can now be found in Favorites under a tab called My Packages. To create a new package, start with a print size that will be used in the package, such as an 8x10. Then click the Show Packages and Clusters button in the lower left, just to the right of the Add Favorites button. Drag a new print size onto the layout area. In this case, we're adding a 5x7. Click and drag on the new position icon in the center of the print to move it around so that you can easily see the different print sizes in the layout area. You can also use the layout zoom slider to show more space around the products. Continue adding additional prints or print sizes until you have the package configured the way you want. For this example, we'll add two more 5x7s and one 8x8, so the package will be one 8x10 one 8x8 and three 5x7s.
To remove a print from the layout, simply click on the red minus button in the corner of the print. Packages you create can be saved using the Add to Favorites button. Any product options you choose will be saved with the package. The Copy Image button means that dragging an image into the layout will add it to all of the print sizes. Click on the image of a print to bring up the image editing tools. Adjusting the zoom and position of one print will adjust it on all of the other prints. You can unlink a print from the others by clicking on the blue link icon and then the zoom and crop can be adjusted separately on that print. Or you can also add a different image to the unlinked print. Another big improvement to the Packager is that you can now add multi-node products such as multiples of wallet prints or prints with a text node into your own package designs. Packager is also a really fast and easy way to create your own splits and clusters. If you choose the Span Image button, the same image will be used to span all of the prints in the package. For a more detailed tutorial on the new Packager feature that explores additional options and functionality, please see our video on that specific topic. The Pager Template Editor has been improved and redesigned as the Designer Suite, offering you a wider variety of design and layout tools for creating your own templates. If you have created any templates using the Pager Template Editor feature from earlier versions of Bay Rose, they can now be found in Favorites under a tab called My Design Templates. A more detailed tutorial about features in the Designer Suite will be made available on our website. Hold Crop, Hold Quantity, Hold Images, Hold Options, and other settings previously found directly under the layout area have been moved to a slide-out panel to the bottom right of the Product Quantity, Product Rotation Controls, and the Add to Cart and View Cart buttons. Clicking on the icon just next to the Resize Panel button will show the Hold options and clicking again will hide them. Once you enter the My Cart area, options that apply to your entire order, such as reference, promo codes, and special instructions can be entered here. And there is a convenient Save for Later button in the lower right, just in case you're not ready to upload the order at that time. Just click this button, enter a name for the order, press Enter, and the order is saved for later. You can create proof files of your order to present to your clients using the Render button, which can be found in the upper right next to the Options panel. After clicking the Render button, specify the folder where you want to save the rendered proofs. A Render Progress bar will display at the top of the View Card screen. To begin the checkout process, click on the Complete and Send Order button. You'll be asked to enter in your account information the first time that you use the new version. For the address, make sure that you use the address that you want your order shipped to. Your info will be saved so you don't have to enter it in on subsequent orders. Next, you'll be asked to choose a shipping method. If you choose a standard shipping method, your order will be shipped to your address as you entered it on the previous screen. To ship your order to a third party without a Bay Photo Lab invoice or branded packaging, choose one of the drop ship options and you will be given a chance to enter the shipping address on the next screen. As you continue through the checkout process, you can choose whether to send the order immediately or to save it to send later. Saved orders can be retrieved from the Uploads button. The Uploads area is also where you'll find any orders that you've saved but have not yet sent. We hope that these new and enhanced features in Bay Rose will improve your ordering workflow. If you have any questions or get stuck at any point in the ordering process, please do not hesitate to contact us by emailing support at bayphoto.com. We can also be reached at our toll-free number or via a live chat session on our website. We're here for you.